the chilies. Da pimentinha aí, ó. I'm gonna have one. Cause this is like a this is like the bird eye chili. Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful, sunny Sao Paulo, Brazil. I'm super pumped, my first day here, and we're starting off at the Central Market. This building was built in 1933, and this is a one-stop shop for supermarket plus food. So we're gonna do a food tour right now, Brazilian food tour. We're gonna start off with a huge, like three kilo mortadella sandwich that was brought in, like influenced by the Italians. If you guys don't know about Sao Paulo, Italians, Japanese, German, mix of all different cultures. After, we're gonna eat more stuff. Fruits, what else, dude? I'm excited. Let's do it, let's dig in. I'm hungry. Let's dig in, hey, my man. Let's go. Let's go. Mask on. Mascara. Mascara. Let's do it. <laughs> so that's a different type of temperature check. I've never done like that yeah, in the yeah. Oh, Look, wow. Yeah. Here's Look at this. That we can so in this part of the market, we have like the seafood. So for example, here we have like the shrimps, that means camarón. If we go in this part here, we can find like fish from every part of Brazil. Like from the north, from the Brazilian coast, like on the south, from everywhere. This is very good. This actually reminds me of like a Spanish market. You know, everything is spaced out. Here we have a main like street that goes from, you know, from here. I guess this is not the entrance, right? The entrance is over yeah. there? Actually, we have many entrances of okay. the market. This is one of the entrances. Okay. okay, perfect. And then over here we have cheese. Yeah. Here, look at this. We have, you know, pig, more pig, cow. Wow, never ending meat. Meat. Yeah. Brazil is all about the meat. Here you find everything for your barbecue and Oh you know, my God. for the lunch, everything. Yeah, that's, the, that's the foot. Yeah, that's the foot. Yeah. I actually don't like the feet. No, I hate uh, it. I hate it, I hate no, it. No. It's like all gelatin. But you can have on the feijoada, you can have this. The feijoada? Yeah. Okay. Amazing. A jelly, delicious. Yeah, so that's cow feet, all jelly. I don't like it. I don't I like love it. it. You love it? I love it. It's Dude, one of my favorite. For me, the best is the stomach. Yeah. Like right here, I think. Yeah. Right there. Oh, it's so good. So good. I want to eat everything. Yeah. This is the rigs, man. Crazy. Huge. So there's a huge market. How many it's vendors in here? There's I mean, so many. Couple hundred. Couple hundred, yeah. Couple hundred. So over here, cheese, shrimp, fish, meat, never ending. Let's go find our mortadella sandwich. Let's go. Let's go. West Norway. What is this? Cod fish. Bacalhau. 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 I'm gonna show you now. It's a, it's a place that they sell all of the ingredients from feijoada. Feijoada? Yeah. Feijoada is a, is a Brazilian typical dish. And here you find all the ingredients for the feijoada. So basically it's all meats, all different pieces of yeah, the cow, it's, right? It's a... Carne seca, so dry, uh, dried meat. Yeah, right? it's uh, different cuts of meats yeah. with black beans and some spice. Oh my God, and you have like chorizo. It's, yeah, and here you find everything. This is amazing. Here you have the receipt of the feijoada. Cod fish from Norway. Right here? Yeah, Norway, look, West Norway. If you guys don't know about codfish, bacalao, that's only found in the North Atlantic, really cold water. Yes. I love it. In Portugal? Yeah. In Portugal, you eat it all day. This one is from Portugal, from oh, Porto. Some, from oh, Porto. Bacalao de Porto. Oh, yes. and that's, that's dried, right? Dried. Amazing. And over here, I mean, this is like olives. Olive oil. All yeah. more, oh my God. Chilies. This is amazing. Of chilies. Yeah. yeah. Mix of chilies. Rice stuff? Oh, I'm trying everything. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah. Oh, Give me yeah. the spicy, man. Give me the spicy. You want to try? You can experiment that Mix of the chilies. I'm gonna have one because this is like a this is like the bird eye chili. Garlic. Yeah, let's try it. Actually, this one is the Italian one. Yeah, but it doesn't taste like uh, really hard garlic. Mmm. Yeah. Strong. Uh, it's like you baked it. Yes. It's a little tough. A little soft. This is amazing. Mm. 
Italiano, eh, ma, mais bom More better. Me, me, melhor. 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 I'm learning Portuguese here. Still You're learning. I've only been here two hours, dude. I'm, I'm not the right teacher. I'm not the best Portuguese teacher, but we're gonna try to do our best, right? Dude, this is phenomenal. Look at this. this you is have amazing. olives, you have garlic, you have peppers, you have cod, more. I mean, over here, it's just never ending. I, I want to show you some cheese. Cheese? Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Cheese? All types of nuts, cheese, everything. Um, tijolo de salame, like a salami brick. <laughs> so what's this one? Yeah, this is like an sausage with oils. It's very good. You can try it. Okay, so right here we also have a, a salad, a cheese salad, but it's a mix. So there's like fruits in there. So we got grapes, we got pineapple, we got cheese. But I need to try this. Eh, puedo, eh, como se dice puedo? Posso, eh, posso. Posso provar. Posso provar. Provar. Provado. Então, cara, o legal daqui desse mercado, que além de você provar frutas, mm. frutas, legumes e tem inúmeros chiotes so de comida, você pode fazer aqui a provinha aqui do It's frutos, like tem a calabresa incrível. Super liquidy. Wow! The spicy salami é, is fantastic. This is insane. Insane, dude. Vários queijos misturados, mas... Tell me. Yeah. Really good pepperoni. Dude, amazing pepperoni. Ótimo, ótimo. Isso que ele já visitou mais de 70 países. I had to get a cheese from the cheese salad. Wow, and spicy. Uh, um picante. Um pouquinho picante. Yeah. Aperitivo. Aperitivo. Yeah. Delicioso. Nossa. Muito so, bem, muito rico. So David, muy you, rico. you're telling me like one of the most diverse markets in the world. By the way, I love what they did here with the Christmas, no? Yeah, yeah. It's December. Yes. Yeah. Christmas is coming. It decorated the whole market. Yeah, we, we start celebrating Christmas like 40 days before Christmas, right? <laughs> we do too, we do too. Yeah, it's, it's like Thanksgiving hasn't ended and we're celebrating exactly. Christmas. Yeah. Amazing. Let me show you the, the mortadella. Center. Mortadella? Let's yeah, go. Just follow me. So in every corner that we visit here in the Mercado Municipal in Sao Paulo, we're gonna find the sanduiche de mortadella that is very typical from our state. And this place here was the first one that uh, started with the sandwich in the market. So in my opinion, that's the best one in the market. So in case you guys don't know mortadella, is, it's a piece of ham, obviously. You know, Italy, we eat it a lot. My grandmother actually made me a big fan when I was a kid. They also add like on, uh, olives inside it as well. Oh, I cannot wait. This looks phenomenal. Oh my God. Guys, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a little piece. Yeah. Mmm. So mortadella is basically It's cold cut, right? Mmm. Yeah. Whoa. This is phenomenal. It's so different than just eating regular ham. Mmm. Pepper. Pepper. No, no. Lemon. Lemon. Mm. We squeeze lime on the top. Oh, you squeeze lime? See, some of the mortadella they offer with pistachio. Pistachio. Top, try with the lime. The lime? Uh, Trying it with lime on top. I'm just gonna get a little piece. <laughs> it's like popping, dude. This is amazing. Oh. Tell me, with lime, much better. A million times better. Sorry, guys. This is for me. This is the best mortadella I've ever had in my life. Straight up with lime, game changer. Bring on a sandwich. Okay guys, we're ordering a mortadella sandwich with cheese. I'm gonna go in the back and see how they make it. This is phenomenal mortadella. Some of the best ever. So the lime, game changer. Come here, just two. Yeah. It's like tight, tight, tight. Yeah. So now I'm making a mortadella sandwich. This is the dish you have to eat in Sao Paulo. Wow, look at this, amazing. And this is it guys, the mortadella sandwich. I'm just gonna get one piece. Monster, look at this cheese. Dude, how do I even eat this? Mm. Oh my God, it's still super hot. Love the cheese. What cheese is this? Feels like American. Yeah, yeah kind of like American cheese. We call it queijo prato. 
So this is like the Pinto de Gallo Brazilian version. Uh, molho al vinagrete. Molho al vinagrete. Yeah, it's kind of like our Brazilian salsa. It's yeah. kind of like called molho al vinagrete. Can you help me? Sure. <laughs> it's awesome. So oh, onions, yeah. tomato, cilantro. Just on top. Just on top. And then I'm gonna need that spice after. It build up the, 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 the taste, right? Oh yeah. Mm. Feel. All right. Same? Yeah. Love it. Refreshing. Yeah, right. Olive, olive oil, it's vinegar. Spice. More and more. Oh, my guys, my guys say this is too much. Nah, it's good. I don't think so. Uh -huh. Picante. 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 It's good. In Portuguese, we, we say apimentado. Pimentado. I gotta Apimentado. say though, it's a monster. This is one piece. We cut the sandwich in four. Mm. It's one family. Seven dollars for this monster mortadella sandwich. What an amazing thing to eat. Yeah, I would say six, six. The best way to start my trip here in Brazil. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Aurelio. Our man. That's amazing. Let's do enjoy, it. Enjoy, enjoy. Right. <laughs> bon. Muito bom. It's so filling though. Really good. I like the cheese. Very salty, melting, and the bread. And of course the mortadella. Molho vinagrete. I know, I know, it's like leaking. Mmm. Sandwich muito gostoso. This mortadella sandwich was unreal. I mean, he described it amazingly. The cheese is salty, it flows, it's gooey, it's just oozing out. The bread's perfectly like toasted. And the mortadella, I gotta say, that is phenomenal. And this, oh my god, I can like, I can like drink this. Dude. The, the vinagrete. The vinagrete. Too good. The guy inside was like, do you like beer? And I was like, yeah, he's like, come here. We got some draft beer and look at this, it's like frozen. Dude, it's crazy. So he's gonna take the, the craft beer for you and it's amazing. I love how they have Yoda. <laughs> yeah. How do you say cheers? Saúde. 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 So this is draft beer and what's the name of the... the... Brema. 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 Brema belongs to the, the biggest brewer in the world called Ambed. Okay, so this is this is a macro brewery. This is obviously a lager, crystal clear beer. I love the head. Super crisp. Super refreshing. Mm, very light, probably like 4.2% alcohol. This is very nice. It's a super hot day today. This is perfect. Enjoy it. It's a good beer, man. Oh, I need to wash down that mortadella. They're very salty, you know, very salty. Yeah, the mortadella, it's kind of like, it's, it's not a ham. It's from Italy originally, and uh, it's a mix of uh, cow meat and pork meat. It's a blend, right? So it's not a ham. He was just explaining to us, and I want to share with you guys. They comped us. Yes. We were in a pay, but they comped us. Yes. They're very generous, right? Very generous. Very yeah, generous. Very generous. Saudi. Wow. Where to next? I have no idea, but let's try some fruit. Fruit? Yeah, now we're going to do some fruit tasting. Let's go. Wow. Look at this. The sauce oh, is there. Apple, apple vinegar. So cool, like Aleira, man. Look, from Portugal. Oh, that's the best. Portugal, now. Yeah, you have everything. Okay, so we made it here back to the main center, the strip. It's basically the boulevard of the market, and here we have fruits. Whoa. Yeah. So this is the the fruit section. You find fruits from every part of Brazil. Oh my gosh. Pitaya, dragon fruit. Dragon fruit, the yellow one. Go ahead and try it. Uh, this is gonna be amazing. Mmm! This is the best. Yes. Mmm! It's like gelatin. And it's full of water, like more than watermelon. I would eat the skin too, man. Mm. You eat the skin? No. No. <laughs> that was awesome. Mm. You know what my favorites are? Those, the figs. The figs. It's my favorites, mm -hmm. man. And who is the fig? Figo. And who is the Brazil? Brazil. 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 Okay. So the figs are from Brazil. Can we try one? So I just try it? Uh, please, please. The whole thing? Okay, okay. Okay, okay the whole thing, the whole thing. Mm. Switch. I love it. Good. To be honest, I eat the whole thing. Mm. Oh. It's so good. Date, ah. date with strawberry. Dates is strawberry. Okay. Please. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. The whole thing? Yeah. It's almost like strawberries with chocolate. Yeah. Mm. They drizzled chocolate, you know the chocolate, basically chocolate fondue, when they put the strawberry in and it gets hard really fast. That was the same thing. That was freaking crazy. That, that was the best. Like, yeah. You do like this, look. You see hamburger. Good? Very good. Creamy. Delicious. You know that it's from Israel or Palestine? This is cashew fruit. Mm. It's different. Different. Yeah. It's like a sponge. Yes, very spongy. You have to try the caipirinha, which is the Brazilian national drink, with this flavor. With this flavor? Oh, oh my god. I love how they have the cashew on top, man. The cashew is amazing. That's actually the Brazilian nut, right? Yeah. So they roast it, and that's how it comes from. Mango, my favorite fruit of all time. The national fruit of India. Also Miami, I have a bunch of mango trees in my parents' house. That's from by you. Mm. Oh yeah. That's all I do, I just start sucking. Yeah, I love it. Mm. You stay off the skin, the flesh. Wow. If you don't live in the tropics and you don't get fruit, you will die here. This yeah. is too good. Because I'm from Miami, so I eat a lot of this. Yeah. But most people don't have fruit like this, you know, year round. And this one is from Bahia. Mm. In the north. In the north. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a big country. Yeah. <laughs> All right, passion fruit. Oh. Oh. Mm. Delicious. Delicioso. Mm. Oh, that's the best. This is straight seeds. What else? So this is another passion fruit, but this one, it comes from the center of the country, right? <laughs> oh, this one's juicier. It's thicker. A lot more in here. Bon. Good. Molto bon. Mmm. You literally stick your tongue in there and just twist it. Vodka. Vodka. No, but vodka in here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rafa, Rafa, come on. Mmm, too much. Ah, <laughs> ah. Oh. Oh. Mmm. Right. Australian kiwi. Kiwi. Yes. Kiwi yellow. Mmm. Never had yellow kiwi. Mmm. Oh, no. oh, it's, it's similar but different. A lot more flesh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wait, I'm getting too full, my friend. Obrigado. 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 Muito obrigado. My man, where are we going From next? Here. Now we are going to the upstairs where we have the restaurants of the market. And we have more than 10 restaurants in this area here. Again, there's two levels in this market. The first level, obviously you saw all the vendors. You can eat down there, you can drink. But if you go upstairs, there's a section upstairs. So it's like half the market is upstairs on the side. So like a quarter of the market is basically restaurants, right? So we have a lot of restaurants, wow. So like my friend said, here you have 10 restaurants, Japanese, Brazilian, a big mix of food. But the best part about coming up here is getting the view over the marketplace. You can see it's never ending rows, right? So like easily a dozen, two dozen rows, lots of fruit vendors. You go deeper in, you have everything we just saw. Over there, you have more of the fish, the poultry, the meats, and that's it, right? What are we doing next? What's up here? I mean, next more food, right? We're hungry. We're still hungry. Yeah. Everything. Look at this. Since 1933. That's crazy. It smells amazing, actually. Yeah, I love it. So to be honest, I'm not a big tobacco guy. I've never smoked a cigarette in my life. But that smell is ridiculous. Wow, I can understand why people are addicted to it. It's just really, really nice and pleasant. Oh my gosh. That is... Incredible tobacco. It actually looked like sausage, that's so why I was attracted to it. But it's not, it's tobacco. Now we are going to try the pastel. Hot fish pastel. So what do we have here? Yeah, this is like a tin of like all the crab cheese. Uh, blue cheese, feta cheese, cacio, cavallo, and ricotta. We have Minas cheese, which is the Brazilian cheese from Minas Gerais State. It's kind of like feta cheese, you know? A Parmesan, all upscale cheese, man. So, is this one? That's, that's goat cheese, right? Yeah, he's very proud to say that all the production is from Sao Paulo. 
But the original name of the cheese is from Minas Gerais State. The one that looks the best for me is this one. This is the Casa Pepe. Look at this one. This is amazing. Wow, it just smells absolutely phenomenal. I don't know how much more I can eat. How about you? You're gonna keep eating? Más o menos come más? No. Sí, sí, estoy llena. Está llena, está llena. This one here. It's like a string one, right? It's called Vozinha Bolota Cavalinha. Mozzarella cheese. Yeah, yeah, I love it. It's like a shredded cheese, like a long, yeah, like, like. Real shredded cheese from Arabic. Mmm, I love the layers. Wow. Not salty. Mozzarella. One little more piece. This is too good. This is like the best. One last bite. Meio trançado, né? Oh. Muito bom. Oh. Muito bom. Vem cachaça. Bom, é, from sugar cane. Okay. He make here. He makes it here. He makes sugar here. cane alcohol. Uh, so what happened? It's strong. <laughs> it's strong. It's fragrant. It's like flowers. Yeah. Mm. But this is with nice. more sweeter if you want. More sweet. Yeah. We have with pig. Oh, a pig. Excellent. Okay. He prefer more sour. Yeah. But I have with pig for you. Okay. Yeah, this is similar. I would say this is something on the border with grappa, rakia, similare. A little bit uh, tequila. A little bit tequila. Mm. Has a smokiness of tequila. Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this is big cachaça. Cachaça. Yes. Okay. It's cachaça with fig. Okay, so this one just has the figs sitting in it. So it absorbs the flavors of the fig. Oh, this is amazing. This is like a sweet, like almost like a porto. Mm. Bono bono. So now we are going to try the Guaraná. It's a Brazilian uh, soft drink made uh, with Guaraná. That is a... Uh... What's happening? <laughs> what happened? No, no, when they got tipped, they sing something. Oh, they get tipped? Okay, yeah. okay, I'm gonna tip you. Caixinha do David! No, but it's Oh, obrigada, David! Uh, Guarano. Guarana. Guarana is a fruit from Amazon. Yeah, but it says here Antarctica. Antarctica is the name of the brand. Okay. So it's Guarana, the fruit Antarctica. That's my favorite. Uh, mm. So it's like a sparkling soda. Yeah, yeah. With Guarana, which are like cherries, right? Yeah, yeah. Cherries? Like a Brazilian cherry mm. from Amazon. I Super love it. Delicious, man. Yeah, yeah. Man. I prefer this than Coke. I always do. What an hour. You know, I don't, I don't drink hour. soda. But oh. this is amazing. Because this is like, this is like almost like pure straight up, like, you know, frizzy cherries, right? Oh. So this is a pastry, fill it up with a codfish, call it pastel. It's amazing. And this is it, guys, pastel. Pastel de bacalao. So how do I do this? I just, so, oh my god, it's so hot. Yeah, it's hot, so you have to break here. Okay, so break a piece. Yeah. Oh. Okay, oh, then wow. you press it. Well, okay, so squeeze it? Yeah, squeeze it. Oh. And then you eat. And you eat, but it's so yeah. hot. It's hot. Mmm. Okay. Here we go. There's no cheese in here. This is like straight up cod with some herbs. It's like broken down cod. They shredded it, right? And they filled it in, then they, they deep fried it, super deep fried, not too oily. I like it. Kind of like chocolate, chocolate shredded uh, codfish. Mm. Mm. Whoa. 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 Look at that. You see it? It's air pockets throughout, crisp on the outside. Lots of herbs. So my boy said, hey David, don't be shy. Just throw in some of this. So these chilies, right? What do you think right there? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, this is phenomenal. Mm. I think it's a, definitely a, a 10 out of 10 on the bacalao. Oh yeah. This is so, guys, here, have half, have half, man. What I like is that it's more dried bacalao, like we saw in the market, right? Yeah. Very dry, not too salty. I like the herbs. Crunch in the outside, the doughy in the inside, also airy. This is like a giant empanada. Yeah. Mmm. Good, huh? Better, better. Better than empanada. Way better. Usually in Miami we have, you know, we have Argentine empanadas, we have Cuban empanadas, Nicaragua, like all Central America, but they're always like either cheese, ham and cheese, mm -hmm. beef, but this, bacalao, unique. It's mm. basically orange juice mixed with lime with mixed with strawberries, right? Yeah, strawberry and orange. 
Oh wow, what a cleanse. Amazing. It's like a strawberry daiquiri with lime juice and a, like a slight orangey taste. It's, it's more strawberry. I'm exploding. <laughs> I'm in love with these girls. Oh. Let's see the, the main entrance of the place. Awesome. So right here we have the main entrance of the market. Okay, wow. And that's it guys. We explored the central market of Sao Paulo. What an experience. So amazing. One of my favorite markets in the world. As soon as you walk in, it feels like a you know seafood market, meat market, but then you start turning through the different lanes and they sell cheese, salami, endless food we had a mortadella sandwich phenomenal it's the one dish you have to try in sao paulo yes and it was a great experience one of the best parts i love it was the fruit tasting man it was fruit amazing yeah. yeah the fruit tasting was endless it was like exactly seven different things we had fig with strawberry no that was date with strawberry we two had kinds figs. of passion two types of passion uh man I dates mean, with strawberry I know, come on no, that yeah. was the best oh that was that, the best. that was like that was the highlight oh, that was the highlight exactly then after i went upstairs we saw a few of the restaurants 10 restaurants up there from there you get awesome views over the market then we came back down we tried that drink yeah. what was the drink i tried the, the, you tried the cachaça cachaça and then we had the, the pastel and the guaraná and we also had cheese so we had yeah. like endless food what a day what an experience very diverse brazilian food isn't just meat it is an experience italian german spanish portuguese i mean what a mix of cultures here guys if you love this video please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment below subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content and also when you come to sao paulo you can't miss this market dude thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. obrigado, obrigado. obrigado.